Alright, we live. Live. Baltimore, we live. We we live in Baltimore. Wait, hold on. <laughs> oh shit, here you go, brother. <laughs> yeah, we this where we at. I just came out to, to Baltimore. Peace gods. So, this is the power of uh, social media though, but go ahead. So, yo, let me roll. I'm about to turn the AC on because I can't fucking hear that dude. I'm giving him that Jesus juice hella loud, man. My question is, what 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 do you want to know? Because you're in Baltimore now. You got here today. You said you was about to drop some some, some serious science. I can drop a little bit of science. Um, I'm born and raised in Baltimore. Right outside the city lines, I'm born and raised. Um, got a lot of family in the city. I've seen, I've been in the city. Love this city. Uh, I don't know nothing but this city, really, you feel me? Right. Nothing but this city. Um, so with my love for this city, I gotta tell the truth about what's going on in my city. Right. Um, and the 100% honest truth is, is this. Um, 100% all the truth, this is what's happening in Baltimore City right now. We have a foreign corporation known as um, United States. We've got a foreign corporation coming in here. They got, they've hired, they got, they've employed the National Guard, the state police, city police, county police, to protect the property of Baltimore City. The property, so if they're protecting the property of Baltimore City, we got a question now, who are the owners? Who owns this? Who owns Baltimore City? And we can easily find out. We easily know who owns Baltimore City right now. <clears throat> we own Baltimore City. We pay the money, we pay the taxes. We pay the money to the, the state. That is our money. So if we own this city, Baltimore, we own this city, then why are we letting other people, other corporations, take our money and bring in genocide, literal genocide, death squads, death squads. What I witnessed here during this weekend was this. Um, I frequent North Avenue. I've lived on Utah Place. Um, I've shopped at this CVS many times. I've gone to that library. Um, I shop in Mon Diamond Mall. This is home. So what I've witnessed here living all my life was this. Um, I've seen, I've witnessed an oppressive police force that has been historically oppressive. That's a fact. Historically oppressive. It's not even, we can't even argue that. There's no point in arguing that. Historically oppressive. And I've watched this police force come in with hired military I've watched this police force come in with their oppressive policies, now come in with hired military that we are paying for through your tax dollars. That shit is insane, yo. And, and the, when military comes into an area, what is that? That's war, right? They only come into people's places for war, and, right? And, and only war. We've seen the model. We've seen the model happen, right? We've seen it in Iraq. We've seen it in Syria. We've seen it in Libya. We've seen it in Sudan. We've seen it in Vietnam. We've seen it in Germany. We've seen it. All, we've seen this before. We've seen this before. The plan has been written. It's been. We've seen it in Tulsa. We've seen it in Tulsa. We've seen it in Philly. We've seen it in the Move organization. We've seen it. We've seen it. Black Panther organization. We've seen this operation before. We've seen how they've come in and subvert our real movements and instill their agents and their military intelligence agents and create this chaos. We've seen it before. It's not no new shit. Yeah. It's really not. It's not. Um, the problem is now is that we know. We know what's going on. And I think a lot of us out here know what's going on. And and what, what, what the catalyst to really change all this, because um, since it's a lot of people that already know what's going on, is to speak about it and be that person that exposes this dumbass matrix. It's really simple. Right, and then organize a group of all the people who don't need no explaining. You ha yeah, you have to educate. N not, but I'm saying, like, 
So me and you, I just yeah. met you, right? Just met you. I just met you. I, I posted I'm in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. You said, yo. Come out. Come out. Link. Boy, I already linked that I met from Facebook. Boy, I met from Philly. Mm -hmm. I said, mm -hmm. make sure I link with you. Mm -hmm. Now you're here. Mm -hmm. So we we preach into the choir. Mm -hmm. What's understood don't got to be explained. Mm -hmm. I got you. Right? right? So organizing, uh, like, so do we, can we plug into a network of, because there's at least 5 million or 10 million of us out there out of the 42 million, or mm -hmm. at, but it's just all separate and individual. Probably like 3 million and then people who just need a, just mm -hmm. a couple more just, little just a couple nuggets more snaps, yeah. to be like, oh shit, okay, yeah, th this is what yeah. I've been waiting for my whole life type yeah. shit. You feel me? Yeah. But, uh, so organize people who's already hip. It's and already then say hip. there's one more, say that that's 1 million. From there, that 1 million, is going then we that's we de, we could declare just us as that one million as a nation, mm -hmm. you know, on some real true democracy, like r really vote, you know, the president, our declaration it, of independence, and it, then we have the capital because my bad, and this is the no, last no, no. thing. I got you. I'm uh, with you 100 percent on because uh, one I don't have a access to a million dollars right now, but if I had a network of a million people mm -hmm. working in perfect harmony for the uh, attainment of a definite purpose, mm -hmm. then I can have access to a million dollars just by a million people with one dollar. Yo, so. So a million people with a hundred dollars, that's a hundred million dollars. So boom, so if we had that network, I'm coming here to you right now, like yo, mm -hmm. uh, we got this network, boom, a hundred million dollars. Uh, what can we do what with the we, city right now? That's Cause it. you from here. That's it. So I don't need, you from me, you from here. That's it. And so we, and then we do that, we set a, uh, set the, uh, that up systematically. It's, and, and, and go and, and, from there. And that's you know? it. And what I'm seeing is it's a currency. Everything, energy is, is, is a currency, yo. Yeah. So what I'm experiencing now in Baltimore is that there's a lot of people coming out in um, different cities, St. Louis, uh, Cali, we got New York, uh, we got Ferguson, which is St. Louis. We have, uh, uh, new, uh, we have uh, some international people here. Um, and what these people are bringing to us and what they're saying is, what can we help y'all with, right? right? And that's all love energy. That's all love. But the, the, the thing is about really controlling this matrix, um, you, got, you, you, you got to use the resources that we, we are, we're tapped into now that are deemed powerful. You can use mm -hmm. this illusion. Um, they had leverage propaganda right. in our, right. our own manner. Right. You know what I right. mean? Right. Be so so it's, taking that, it's taking that reach and that love that we have for, you know, just the knowledge that we share right now, yeah. you know, and understand it. And taking that, the resource that's in the matrix, the money, Federal Reserve notes, whatever you want to call it, and using that for our benefit. This is really just supporting, the, it's supporting us in our own system, as you're trying to say, but you have, you have to, you got to actually show that love as if, if it was, you know, just coming here. But actually, if you can't come here, send some, uh, you know, send us some resource, you know, right. that we can uh, all share in and we can all divvy up, you know, between some type of unified body. Unified body. Exactly. It's, it has to be a unified body, though. And that's the first thing. Yeah. And so, we all know we can't organize uh, sleeping people. Like, you see that brick right there? Mm -hmm. Talking to someone who's out there f falling for what Bull yeah, saying what with his Jesus. loud ass mic. Yeah. Like, no matter what we tell them, mm -hmm. like it's like we talking to this brick wall. Mm -hmm. Like we've all had that experience, mm -hmm. but you talk to me and we both get the ancestors. Yeah. Ancestors start coming in, yeah, like yeah. yo, hey, say bring bring all that, right? Right. right. Uh, because we have a certain level mm -hmm. of understanding. So, and that's just with two or more minds. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So, one million working in perfect harmony. Mm -hmm. Right, because then from there, that's everybody's ideas, and then we leverage each other's ed education, mm -hmm. influence, mm -hmm. uh, capital, experience, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and and really, because think of, and it's and, but the, you know what's funny though, I see this happening now, yo. Like this is happening. So that's what like, because that's what it really boils down to, right? And because everybody, every black person doesn't have to be on board mm -hmm. uh, for us to. Uh, go from generational poverty right. to generational wealth and secure that right because for example declaration of independence only like 50 something people mm -hmm. so 50 something people's decision mm -hmm. it's affected a, millions it's always a small intelligent collective um and that you know is, is the one that writes the, the agenda but you have to have that energy from the people right and i think that's what we have right now that's that we have the energy from the people definitely
we have the energy from the people. So it's, it's time to take that model as if in the same way they used it to organize this, what we call society today, we gotta do the same shit. But we gotta follow it, do it on different principles. Um, my principle is my eye, you know, you feel me? My principle is Christ. Um, one of the mantras I have now is, um, and I'm gonna stick it to this, is every black body needs to be a black institution of something. And that's what we gotta promote. Every black body has to be a black institution of something. That's a black institution of finance, a black institution of medicine, right. a black institution of education, exactly. you know, doctor, you know. And, and my bad. But whatever you do, you know, if it's, if it's uh, you know, nanny, it's anything that you mm -hmm. do. That's what exactly. you have that's to when, That's what you call on. black power, babies right. and babies with purpose. Mm -hmm. Because for us to go, because we could go out here mm -hmm. right now to... Just regular mm -hmm. people all on the streets yeah. to say what we have to say yeah. and miss mm -hmm. you feel me yeah, completely totally because miss. it's these this ten minutes that they have in front of us mm -hmm. or maybe even an hour that they have in front of us or the twenty plus years that they lived before mm -hmm. they met us mm -hmm. <laughs> you feel me yeah. they're already on the the stronghold so exactly. if they're not ready it's, it's we respect their own their own journey and we're doing it for them. To, uh, as proof like right. of what it's about to be. I think it's more effective at this point to c collect the people that don't uh, allow their cogn cognitive dissidents to get in the way to help those, you know, or at least formulate something that is, you know, beneficial to, for those who are, you know, stuck in that cognitive dissidence, like where you just, you're presented with this new information, but yet, you know, you just reject it. But y'all ain't ready for that. You ain't ready for that, but the collective that is is, is ready. The seeds, yeah, the, the seeds are, are are some. Right, that's the that's the most important thing. Is you can go in the street and you talk, you can have fifty people and talk to one brother. Right, and you know that's that's that, exactly what. Right, and that one seed is sown in that one one brother, but you realize that you planted it where you laid it. You feel me? Right, and then when that grows, he gonna go and sprout plant more seeds mm -hmm. where you just planted that. So it's effective. Uh, in a lot of ways, because um, as being out here in Baltimore and being on the streets and being cognizant of the, you know this military drill that's going on, and you see the people you know being taken into motion, you get a chance to see certain people that are like, you know, what is this? So you instantly get to connect with them, and then once you start to communicate, you know, with them, they're not fully conscious, but you start to communicate with them, you say a few key words, and they just say, oh, you what? You know what? You know what? You're right. Oh, you're right. <laughs> And then I don't really got to say too much more at that point. I mean, the seed's been planted, and then I think people are naturally just going off. Yeah, and, and I think and, and that regardless... Figuring it out. Yeah, yeah. I don't mean to cut you yeah. off, but... I heard a guy say one time that as long as... Because he's seen me mm -hmm. say something to someone we having a you know, conversation, that person mm -hmm. acted, they didn't get what I was saying mm -hmm. and they like left me like a big deal mm -hmm. but some dude I guess he was overhearing the, the combo mm -hmm. and uh, he was like you know it's all good what any reaction you know is a good, a reaction, good reaction because that means they hurt you mm -hmm. you feel me like you affected them like yeah, you affected so, their emotional state so if they react whether they react positively or they react negatively mm -hmm. like if they don't have any reaction at all then they're just in la la yeah, land. They they drones. they completely tuned you yeah, out yeah. when you were speaking. Yeah. So it's like people are in, uncomfortable with irrefutable truth. Yeah, and I, what I'm learning through Facebook a lot though now is that you, and arguing and, and debating is that I really I'm done with all that. Like I really don't have to do that too much anymore because there's enough people yeah, out here. Yeah, right. exactly. We did that, and right. like I said. All right, now I'm just going to speak my truth because now it's all come, it's all being unrevealed. Because what what it really is is with the apocalypse or what they call it uh, Armageddon, which is the revolution of knowledge. Right. You know, this is what's going on right now. People don't realize that this is Armageddon now, but it's the revelation of knowledge, yo. If you don't got the knowledge, you like, you confused. You get, and and that's what um, people that believe in Jesus, they believe Jesus is going to come back for our sins. Or, or to save us. Yeah, man. Um, he never said that though. In in the red, you read mm -hmm. his words. Mm -hmm. He didn't even say he came for the whole world mm -hmm. either. Um, if he even existed, mm -hmm. like physically, but in biblical literature, there is without a doubt he exists. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so people think that when someone denounces Jesus, then. <laughs> 
they have no authority of quoting biblical literature. I hate that. <laughs> like, I don't understand that. Like, I, I can read in the same manner you learn to read, I can read also. In the same manner you learn to interpret, I can interpret also. So to demonize my knowledge means you don't really respect like, You don't even knowledge. think, yeah, like... So, what am I supposed to do with that in an argument? It's like... What am I supposed to do with it? How am I supposed to meet you at that level if you can't even respect knowledge? And I'm not coming at you trying to, you know, disrespect your knowledge because I'm, I'm done with that. My emotions, you know, of lasting that out is over. I'm just coming with what I know is truth now. Mm. And let's, let's come together on that. And if you got some problem with that, then... Not we're able, not the people that not I need to, to be evolve. rocking with right you're not, now. You're not even able to spiritually be, evolve with me right but now. But even, but... What I've been learning and I, what I've been really on is, like, compassion lately. Like, I, I was told that, or I heard, I was... I do a lot of, like, just watching hella lectures and studying yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Hella different Eastern philosophies yeah. and, like, Same different shit. things. Yep. And uh, dude was talking about compassion is the force that holds everything together. Mm-hmm. And so, if you would think from, like, the original womb, right... Mm-hmm. Mother Nature, mm-hmm. right? The mm-hmm. original, yeah. like, and this, and then everything that comes from that, mm-hmm. it, you know, it's 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 set in place, mm-hmm. and it allow, and she or it, whatever you want to call it, mm-hmm. allows us to freely mm-hmm. do whatever we you know want to do and like no way. matter what's yeah. going on in our consciousness like mm-hmm. animals like my little dogs mm-hmm. they're not like oh damn it's war shit out here mm-hmm. crazy mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what i mean nah. like no matter what mm-hmm. like that's a good point and yo elder told me out uh, elder told me yesterday he said uh Pay attention to nature to learn how to fix your, your solutions. Yeah. Fix your problems. Pay attention to nature. Yeah. Immaturity lies in total ignorance of self, man. And, and understanding that we are nature. Because it's... Because if... But just think about the compassion mm-hmm. that she must have mm-hmm. on everything. But that, like, that's that's God. It's unconditional yeah, love. Yeah, exactly. And, and it's really hard to have, you know. Because even in, say, us being black, in a sense... Um, that is a condition. Yeah. And to, to, to transcend that condition, you would have to love white people. Yeah. You have to love all yeah, people. But exactly. Yeah. But the thing about it, yeah, I know exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing about that shit is, like, they're going to, like, the sun is doing his job on, is killing them off. Like, the sun is pro-black. <laughs> My bad. Like, yo, our hair defies gravity. You feel me? That, like, exactly, so, yeah. like, we don't have to take any precautions, yeah, right? Can't change that. There's no way that, you know, white women are going to stop Fucking, fucking black, black men. men and there's no way black men are gonna stop fucking white men jungle like, fever, yeah. like <laughs> they made a movie about this shit and yeah. jungle fever they made it seem like it was them, him, him who caught the jungle Not, fever it's called by, jungle exactly fever, yeah. it's the it's the, 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 black the apes, whites yeah. the Europeans yeah, yeah. to go into the jungle insane yeah. it, but they switch it yeah, but, they switch um, Compassion, though. Compassion. Yeah, man. But that, it, that's a, cre- I mean, that, that has its time. Mm-hmm. And I respect and love what they did because without their um, example, mm-hmm. I would not know what brotherhood is, is not. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? I wouldn't know what righteous, I wouldn't know the opposite of righteousness. And that's the duality. You feel me? God, exactly. You know, we're just living in a time. And so, and this a time, it's the transition, yeah. it's the great shift. That's it. It's like everything that happened from the beginning of time has led up to this because now we can completely let go of the material realm because we mastered that. The first man, yeah, he, they, he didn't even have time to look down. He looking up, you mm-hmm. feel me? Like, no. Now you go to a college campus, everybody's, mm-hmm. you feel me, here. Mm-hmm. Nobody's even, you know, r- r- really communicating because it's the age of consciousness. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. and so everything's already been built. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Oh, we could sure. just build it more and more places and, and have, get everybody more access to the luxuries of, man, of uh, people's ideas. Right. But right now, and that's why it's, oh man. So this is where I'm about to go with this. It's, so you went to the sun, right? The right. sun's doing its own job. Yeah. That's what, uh, that's electromagnetic energy, yeah. So if we understand electromagnetic energy, how it affects material, materialism, people, uh, the heart, you know, 
the sun is is literally or whatever is you know producing this electromagnetic field on earth now which i would call what what i would call christ consciousness uh, or, or the krishna, ans- krishna, krishna consciousness. consciousness or the ancestors yeah it's just like it's just the the original womb like it's a, it's a, because it's a reverberation it's a reverberation if, because now, if it's all because it, of what thing, it used to be you're right because it's like the thing about it is man Everything that we see, you feel me, mm-hmm. and we don't see is all the same stuff put mm-hmm. together in different forms, vibrating hella fast. Yep, that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> and we're not our bodies; we're our spirit that's soul. It. We're our infinite spirit souls within a body. Mm-hmm. So we're not human beings having a spiritual experience. We're spir- spiritual, spiritual beings, beings having a human experience. Spirit. And it's all for the benefit and of God. And it, yeah, and it's all to get back to that state of Christ consciousness mm-hmm. and that conditioning. And so it, like. Because blacks already, our ancestors, like the world had already been mastered completely mm-hmm. and civilized completely mm-hmm. got, it's, uh, before Bull came even out the cave. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Before they even showed their face in world history, yeah, we had already mastered the whole planet. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And then that knowledge, they ain't have that plus the lack, self hate, damn the sucking. Put some clothes, you know, all these other different things that we have that they don't have. 